Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today. Doing another realistic rebuild. This time, okay. For sure. Alright. Today, we will be rebuilding... I'm actually between two. I think we're going to do the Baltimore Ravens today. I've been starting these realistic rebuilds from the actual week where I'm recording it. And uh, apparently Joe Flacco is not actually going to play because of injury. And you know what? He's not going to play in this one either. This is a realistic rebuild. So we are probably going to finish out the season with him as much as it pains me. But this is the roster. Ronnie Stanley is our franchise left tackle. And Dwayne, Br not Dwayne Brown, are you kidding me? Um, Orlando Brown. Why did I say Dwayne? It looks like a D almost. Orlando Brown Jr., the rookie out of Oklahoma, can hopefully be our franchise right tackle. Looks very good. And, of course, Marshall Yonda has been a fantastic right guard for a very long time in this league. Um, so we will be rocking out with him. Got to improve the other pieces on the line, left guard and center. And we still don't really know what's happening at tight end because we have max williams and nick boyle and hayden hurst and mark andrews <laughs> the ravens always have just way too many tight ends and then a wide receiver we have michael crabtree willie sneed john brown not exactly a great trio in my opinion as far as age goes at least and overall crabtree is 30 and only an 85 overall that's likely going to be his ceiling john brown is only an 82 overall and 28 he's going to start regressing willie sneed's not even particularly good 25 years old, 78 overall. Not terrible. Um, he's actually decent in real life. Good possession receiver. And then running backs, a disaster. Alex Collins, Ty Montgomery, uh, Javorius, Buck Allen, and Kenneth Dixon. And of course, the elite QB, that is Joe Flacco, Lamar Jackson, RG3. Patrick Ricard is like a defensive tackle also. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll play him at defensive tackle. 90 strength. Wonder what they have for his defensive stats. I would hope they have something good going on. Um, but we'll figure out exactly what we want to do. Probably make some cuts. Uh, the defense is aging. Eric Weddle is well into his 30s, but my boy Deshaun Elliott can take over. Loved him at Texas. And then Tony Jefferson is getting up there as well. Um, he's 26. Doesn't usually progress that quickly. I thought he was 28. 26 is actually not that bad. Uh, Anthony Levine might have to play a lot more. Uh, or Levine. I think it's Levine. Anthony Levine Sr. I, I don't think I've ever called him Levine before. I think it's Levine. Uh, we got T-Sizzle, but he's older. TJ Mosley is a beast. I think this is pronounced uh, Awuso. I'm not positive on that. I think it's Patrick Awuso. Um, even though it looks like Anwasor or whatever. And then Matthew Judon, Tyus Bowser could be good. Zadarius Smith. Who else is out here? Willie Henry. I can't believe he starts. Michael Pierce is a great nose tackle. But then we have, what, Brent Urban and Chris Wormley. Got to get better. Brandon Williams is basically a nose tackle, but he's playing uh, left end. And then the cornerback situation, Jimmy Smith is 30. Brandon Carr is, what, 30? He's 32. Wow, I'm getting my uh, ages weird. Marlon Humphrey is going to be our cornerstone at cornerback. And then maybe Tavon Young can be that awesome slot guy. We're really in a very interesting situation right now. I need to rearrange this entire depth chart. Uh, but it's pretty much going to be simulating from here on out. Well, to the mid, uh, not the midseason mark, we're past that. No trades uh, to the offseason. I forgot about Kara Vidvik. Uh, Vedvik, excuse me. Uh, obviously, they're Justin Tucker, so they don't really need him, but he's actually decent. Um, and we signed Nico Siragusa, or the Panthers have signed Nico Siragusa from our practice squad. Who cares? We got to rearrange this stuff, figure out who the starting tight ends are, and that's going to be Mark Andrews and Hayden Hurst 100%. I got to figure out which one has better development. We can figure that out in a moment. I'm going to change it first. Imagine having four 76 overall tight ends on the roster. Great. Does Mark Andrews have quick or better? He has quick. What about Hayden Hurst? Probably normal or quick. He has quick, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with Mark Andrews as a starter because I think he's a little bit better than Hayden Hurst. Uh, my opinion, of course. Feel free to disagree. And I do want to add some players to the trade block. We can't keep everybody, but of course we're not going to be able to do that now. Uh, and as far as scouting goes, I will be importing, uh, well, actually, uh, let's download from the Madden share. I have made a class. I'll get into that in a minute. 
All right, so if you search by me, if you're on the PS4, this is currently not on the Xbox, although uh, I'm pretty sure people are working on getting it over there. What I have done, my gamertag is Bengal Designs on PSN, or my, my PSN is Bengal Designs. So you search Bengal Designs, and my draft class will come up. As you can see on the screen, work in progress, editing, editing the OSFX absolute abomination of a class. This is nowhere near perfect due to time restrictions. I've been super busy, and I have a surgery tomorrow as I record this. I've been trying to get a bunch of bulk recording done. Uh, long story short, I took a fastball to the face playing baseball my junior year of high school, and now uh, five years later, after my first surgery was not a success to repair the inside, I still can't really breathe or smell. Hopefully tomorrow I get better breathing so I can breathe out of my nose, but then I link my YouTube for uh, purposes. has seven downloads right now. The offense is mostly complete, not defense. We're going to be using this class for the rest of my realistic rebuilds. I have not gotten a defense yet. Over the course of my uh, surgery recovery, I'll probably work on the class a little bit since I'll have a lot of downtime where I can't record because one, I don't know how my uh, face is going to be looking and I don't know how I'm going to sound either. So I'll try to get the defense going. Right now, this class is still pretty much an abomination. Uh, the, I've worked to get the offense a lot better because it was terrible. Operation Sports did a terrible job with this, in my opinion. I hate to bash them like this, but I think it was really just absolutely terrible. All the heights and weights were wrong, pretty much. Just the name schools were good. Uh, the faces were pretty good, but they didn't do any work on the actual heights and weights. So I fixed a lot of that on offense. Got some new quarterbacks in here. Uh, changed the order as best I could. Everything still is not perfect. This was a long class. I got Daniel Jones in here. Um, Tyree Jackson is now 6'7 instead of 6'6 six, six or 6'5 six, or whatever he was. And uh, We rearranged things a little bit here. Took out some players. Not everyone's in here. Uh, it was tough. There's a lot of players to include. There is no Eastern Washington stud in here. If you guys were looking for him. Not Eastern Washington. Washington State. There's no Gardner Minshew. Apologies for that, Wildcat fans. I did it again. <laughs> They're the Cougars, if you are actually a fan of Washington State. Added some new running backs in. I hate to like take too much time on this, but the class, again, it's not perfect. I tried to get the order mostly correct. I don't know how Rodney Anderson's this high. He's not supposed to be. He's supposed to be way down, but uh, David Montgomery's a little bit better. Justice Hill's in here. So I am editing the overalls. I know them. Uh, added... Uh, Karen Higdon and uh, Dexter Williams but again there are just so many players it's tough to get them in the class that's why I actually started from a class so I'd have the names and a bunch of these players already in here so I could edit the ratings and whatnot but yeah it's a super long process I didn't really touch fullback and then we got the receivers a little bit better uh, with like AJ Brown and DK Metcalf and Akeel Harry and everyone's heights and weights correct as close as I could and Colin Johnson in here um, there was no Riley Ridley there was no Chase Claypool. There was no Emmanuel Hall, who's supposed to be from Missouri. I guess I forgot to change that. Um, there was no J.J. Arcega-Whiteside. There was no K.J. Hill. There was no little Jordan Humphrey. There was no Demarcus Lodge, who's actually pretty good. There was no Gary Jennings Jr. So I tried to get a lot of these players in here. Um, again, it's not perfect, but I hope you guys appreciate the effort. I was doing this on stream. Twitch.tv slash Bengal. I hate to take too much time on this, but... The offense is good. There was no Albert Okwebenam. There was no Irv Smith Jr., even though both these guys could return. Irv Smith probably will. I think Albert O is going to come out. But I tried to get him as best as I could. I didn't touch offensive line that much, uh, only to add. Where is he? I swear to God I added Cody Ford. I definitely added Cody Ford. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be working on this. But if you want to download it, it is under Bengal Designs. The defense I still uh, is whatever the OSFX has. Operation Sports. I don't think it's very good. Feel free to disagree, but I'm, I'm working on it to get my actual class, but you can download that if you want. But now, on to the rebuild. I'll see you guys at the off-season time period. So, Season 1 has come to an end. The depth chart's been rearranged to whatever the hell the CPU wanted. Uh, even though I changed it. They're just like, nah, we're gonna do whatever we want. So that's incredibly frustrating. I really can't even say that enough. How annoying that is to me. Because they've changed around everything, I guess. Yep, they did. It's just so frustrating when I set something and the CPU is like, nah, we're going to do whatever we want. So, yeah, it's fantastic. But let's go ahead and check out the stats, see how we did. 4 and 12. Did we lose out? Wait, wait, what? We took over from 
where we are now, which is week 10. Do we lose out? Jesus Christ. I obviously didn't force the wins either way, but... Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, off-season time as the Chiefs lose to the Saints 32-24. I see it in the top left. It's, it's covered up for your screen, I would probably guess. I think my cam is covering it, yeah. There you go. A little glimpse. But, uh, yeah, Michael Pierce is our top free agent. Who else is here? He's a decently high overall, too. So, T-Sizzle, CJ Mosley, Alex Collins, Brandon Carr, John Brown, Ty Montgomery, Zadarius Smith, Nick Boyle, Max Williams, Buck Allen, Patrick Owuso, if that's how you say that. I'm pretty sure that it is. There are a lot of free agents, and I'm telling you, I don't want to bring most of them back. Zadarius Smith, I'm interested in. But I'm, I don't want to re-sign John Brown. He's 29 and regressing. I don't want to sign Brandon Carr. I don't want to re-sign Alex Collins. I don't want to re-sign Terrell Suggs. 36 years old. He had a great career. We got to move on, get younger. Michael Pierce, CJ Mosley are two that we have to re-sign. CJ Mosley and Michael Pierce have accepted. I'm just down to part with the rest of these guys. Darius Smith is 26. 79 overall. 17, almost 18,000 XP to get to his next spot to make him an 80 overall he really isn't bad what do you want money wise i'm not gonna give you four and a half mil per year all right we're letting a lot of guys go but that also means we're gonna have a lot of money and i want to check out something else joe flacco what would it mean to release you right now that's a pretty big penalty we're gonna hold on to him i don't think it doesn't work like that in real life the reds or it's not the reds because the ravens actually saved 10 mil this year and i think it's 20 mil next year I'm telling you right now, Lamar Jackson will be the starting quarterback as Marshall Yonda regresses to an 88. Crabtree down from an 85 or 86 to an 82. Flacco down. Obviously, we have no running back. Um, how to go on defense for regression? Jimmy Smith from an 87 to an 84. Eric Weddle from, a, from an 84 to a 78. He's 34, dude. We're going to add him to the trade block. See if we can get any offers for him. Regression sucks it really does but we have a lot of money to spend show me Le'Veon Bell Ooh, Le'Veon Bell also Anthony Barr you guys like how the Rams and Chiefs are going after Le'Veon Bell do EA we gotta have a talk I'm gonna do a video on this channel pretty soon you guys might want to subscribe for it if you're not already uh my wish list for Madden 2021 it starts with free agency I probably have to say the Rams and the Chiefs Todd Gurley, Kareem Hunt, and they're going to go after and pay Le'Veon Bell? Why? Why would that happen? Tell me we got Le'Veon Bell, please. Contract accepted. Le'Veon Bell is a Baltimore Raven. I think I have a title. Le'Veon Bell, how do you look? At number 38? No. Absolutely not. I won't allow it. I'm sure Maurice uh, Kennedy is not going to care about giving up number... Uh, 26 to Le'Veon Bell. We'll make him 43. Uh, he's a defensive back, so that, that works enough. And Le'Veon Bell, the new highest overall player on our team by a lot, is going to wear his number. How does he look wearing number 26? Pretty good. Pretty good. Looks better with a new contract, too, right? <laughs> I like how on the bottom ticker you can see, will Bell be back with the Steelers or will he test the free agent market? Steelers don't want to find out. Well, he's on the Ravens now. A division rival. All right, draft time. Now that we have Le'Veon Bell, there isn't really a need for, uh, for a running back. And we're picking a lot higher than I thought we would be. We're at number two. Let's see who the Giants go at number one. My favorite team. They take Nick Bosa. Maybe a little bit of a preview there. We'll have to see. I'm going to trade down. We don't have a second round pick via the Lamar Jackson trade. What kind of package can we get? I'm looking for 2019 picks more than anything. Although the Bengals, I don't, I hate to trade within the, the, the division. I'm not going to do that. Do we trade with Seattle here? Which trade is better, Seattle or Minnesota? Both offer 2019 first. Seattle is much higher. Both offer 2020 first, and both both offer. 2019 third. So I guess we might as well go with Seattle here. We're trade down to seven. 
Seahawks go Ed Oliver. AJ Brown to the Raiders. Jets take Greg Little out of Ole Miss. The Bills go Hollywood Brown out of Oklahoma. Colts get Devin White. See, Devin White is only a 72 overall. I would never actually have that in my class. It's an abomination. Absolute travesty, and I apologize that you guys even had to see that. We are on the board on the clock at number seven. And I am going to go wide receiver here. It's going to be Nikhil Harry out of Arizona State. Or is it? We drafted him last time. Is he worth it? Is he really worth a top pick when there are some other guys available? Colin Johnson, DK Metcalf, who we wouldn't have to take inside the top 10. I want a first if we're going to trade down, but no one's really offering it. I'm going to have to make my own first. I'm going to have to make my own trade. I feel like a top 10 pick should be valued a lot higher. Like, the Dolphins would be moving up significantly to number 7 in order to do this. And granted, this is not the way it works in real life, but this pick should be more valuable to where a 1 and a 2 in the same draft to move up this many spots, I think should have a little bit more value there. I'm not saying that that should be, you know, accepted 100% of the time, but it should definitely be more the way there. There's just, there's no incentive for me to, uh, to not take this pick. There just is no incentive. I have to take it. You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to trade down with the Titans to pick up a three this year just to get more picks to fill the more uh, holes on this lineup. We're going to move down 20 spots and see what's available. There's just no one that I really wanted that bad as Colin Johnson goes to the Eagles. The top receivers are now off the board. I wish I hadn't done that now, I think, a little bit. It's crazy that Justin Herbert is still on the board. He was supposed to be an early first rounder. And he's good. I can tell you. I know I know his overall. It's like an 80 or 81. Like, he's pretty good. With superstar development. I don't remember all of them, but I, I remember that one. How is he still available at 27? I almost want to pull the trigger just to trade him. But again, that's not very realistic. What can we get for this pick? It's a first round pick. I'm not going to take seconds. I'd be looking for a first next year, not a second next year. That makes no sense. Uh, I, I'm so tempted to take Justin Herbert. I really am, but it just wouldn't happen. We're going to take Paris Campbell out of Ohio State. 4-3-4 speed, grade 3 cone and 20-yard shuttle, one of the fastest receivers in the country. 77 overall star development, obviously not ranked number one. 94 speed, 83 catching, 79 catching traffic, 83 short route running, 83 medium, 71 deep. 71 spectacular catch, 74 release, 88 agility. He's pretty good. Um, he's not going to wear number 21 for us, even though that's what he does wear in college. He will be wearing a number in the teens or the 80s. Later, or to be determined later. Justin Herbert. No way he lasted that long. He went until the third round where the Giants got him. I'd be happy for this in real life, obviously. <laughs> He's an 81 overall with superstar development. The Giants got him in the third. Drew Loxavell. What's up with these quarterbacks staying on the board? Mac Wilson should be way better. He looks terrible. Dude, I mean, I, I, I feel very bad for whoever takes this from a defensive perspective. This might be a wide receiver heavy draft class. We're going to go Riley Ridley. Calvin Ridley's brother out of Georgia. He's a 75 overall with quick development. 93 speed, 88 acceleration, 84 catch. Decent route running, decent catching overall. Pretty good speed at 93. We'll find a spot for him, I'd guess. We have a lot of picks in this area. Drew Locke finally goes, and the Colts take him. So they got Locke and Luck. All right, we're going to trade down. Probably for a second round pick next year. The Seahawks are offering us another pick, and I cannot help but give it to them. We pick now at the end of the third round. We'll see what's available. Uh, a lot of accumulating picks. In this class, as Shea Patterson goes to the Detroit Lions. Who's still available wide receiver? Some decent options. I might actually go Chase Claypool here. 4-4-1 speed at 6 foot 4. Good top 3 skills. Welcome to the team. 74 overall. Quick development. Um, decent route running. Decent catching. He's certainly a player we might want to look to get involved. We're going to take Connor McGovern here. He doesn't look particularly good. I didn't edit most of the offensive line numbers. He's a 62 overall. This is what I'm talking about, man. Oh, man, with his class. 62 is, I think, very low. Especially, I mean, I, I, that's, that's partly my fault. 
I got bored and I didn't really want to customize the offensive line that much. And apparently they didn't all save as little Jordan Humphrey goes to the Giants. I'm having like a wet dream right now. Justin Herbert and then in the fifth, little Jordan Humphrey. It'd be a dream. We're going to trade down this pick for a fourth next year. I was hoping a third might sneak in, but nope. Uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this draft. I'm going to trade down and get more picks or simulate. We're just going to simulate. I'll see you guys for the draft recap. So it was very wide receiver heavy, but I think we got pretty good value on most of these guys as Paris Campbell in the first, and then Riley Ridley and Chase Claypool and the rest of the draft is absolute trash. It's not really much I can do about that. It's making a draft class is very long, tedious work. And especially like trying to save this draft class from Operation Sports is just a, a lost cause. What are Michael Crabtree's contract stipulations here? Doesn't make sense to uh, cut him. I definitely don't want Willie Sneed playing that much. No, Brennan Williams is down with 85 now that he's 30 years old. I hate regression with a passion. It is so, so strong. Plus three man for Marlon Humphrey going up to 88 man. Um, I think we're pretty much all upgraded. Lamar Jackson's taking the reins. This is the team. It's interesting. Paris Campbell's going to be our two. Riley Ridley in the slot. Chase Claypool at number four for now. Willie Snee got moved down a lot. I want to get these young guys a lot of reps. So that's exactly what we're going to do. All right. Yep. This is the team. We're going to simulate to the midseason mark. Ooh, Tyus Bowser is a point. I don't want I don't want to make him a power rusher. We're going to keep uh, having him be a finesse style. Get him up to a 75 overall. He's very difficult to upgrade. And I thought he would come onto the scene a little bit stronger out of Houston, but not really so far. And we'll go man-to-man -man on Marlon Humphrey again. He is now at an 84 overall. Show me 90 man. 89. It will be. But all right. See you guys at the midseason mark. We are 5-3 and three at the midseason mark. The Lamar Jackson effect. He's our starting quarterback. That is currently not even... Technically, the division lead. The Browns are five and three. Okay. People always ask me, by the way, um, how do I get the draft class in for year two and beyond? You click L3 to edit the players, and then this pops up: edit draft class. And you can go ahead um, and import local file or download from the Madden Share. And I think I have a 2021 in here. Uh, all right, we'll we'll use this one. I don't really know the difference between which. I've downloaded them also. It must be bad. What is this? I don't know what 2020 class that is. I mean, there we go. Tua should be the number one player in this class. And I think Jeffrey Simmons is technically already in the NFL. As uh, he was in our class. But I guess this will do. Here's Tua. It looks like a beast. And he should be. Tried to upgrade Field General for Lamar Jackson. And he gave him plus four awareness. I was trying to upgrade his accuracy. They gave me an awareness boost. Great. Marshall Yonda is also an impending free agent. Even though he is getting worse as the days go on, we have to retain him, I think. Jimmy Smith can go. Ronnie Stanley, we must resign. I think I want to resign Matthew Judon and Tavon Young as well. Anthony Levine and Willie Sneed and Eric Weddle, they can all walk. Patrick Ricard, though, I want back. Or Ricard. Ricard, I never know. You know, Willie Henry's only 25 overall. Fits the scheme. He has a, what do say, normal or quick development or something? He is quick. I mean, we might as well resign him. So we got all these guys back that we need to. No Sneed, no Levine, no Weddle. We got Patrick Ricard back. Jimmy Smith is gone. And let's get Yonda. All right, Yonda, he's back as well. Jimmy Smith can walk. We're going to replace him. And uh, let's simulate to the playoffs. We might actually make it in year two, which is kind of a shock to me. Oh, we didn't make it actually. Great. We finished nine and seven. No. No, I didn't. I don't think I showed stats from last year either. Did Joe Flacco take back over? Why CPU? You anger me immensely. No, he didn't. He had a few attempts. Lamar Jackson, pretty good year. 3,800 yards, 29 TDs, 12 interceptions, rushing. He only scrambled nine times for 16 yards. We got to change up the offense. Le'Veon Bell was a beast. 
almost 1,900 yards, 16 touchdowns. He was an absolute tank. Receiving Michael Crabtree had a great season, 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns. Paris Campbell, pretty good. Mark Andrews had 7 TDs. I don't know how Willie Sneed worked his way back up. Stop changing my lineup, man. I hate it. Let me play the lineup I want. It's so frustrating. Sacks, Tyus Bowser led. Brandon Williams, 7 as well. It's a 7.5 for Tyus Bowser. 6 for Matthew Judon. 4.5 for CJ Mosley, who also had two picks to go with Kennedy and Humphrey. How did Maurice Kennedy get in the game? I am confused. And uh, no defensive touchdowns. We had the best offense in the NFL. Didn't make the playoffs. The 15th defense. How do we not make the playoffs? Baker wins MVP of the 12-4 and four Browns. Le'Veon Bell at number four for our Ravens. AFC Office Player of the Year is Le'Veon Bell. No Dalton Defense Player of the Year is Miles Jack. C.J. Mosley at number nine. Offensive Rookie of the Year is J.J. Arcega-Whiteside. Paris Campbell at number four. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year is Cameron Smith for the Raiders. No Ravens. All right. The Giants beat the Browns in the Super Bowl, by the way. I need to, no, we need to back out of this. I need to show you. Unbelievable. I'm quite pleased. <laughs> That's why it's a video game. Maybe, maybe that will be the 2019 Super Bowl. I'd be shocked. I would be absolutely shocked. Did I miss out on anybody that I want to resign? I don't need 82 overall Jimmy Smith, who's 32. I don't want Willie Sneed. Nah, look at the regression. Eric Weddles is 74. Can't believe you didn't resign Weddle. Yeah. Believe it. Can we cut Joe Flacco yet? Dude, that's not how the that's not how the contract would work. This would clear 20 million. It wouldn't be a penalty of 17 million. Le'Veon Bell up to a 99 overall. With confidence, of course. It's only a 98. Only. Marshall Yanda shall play forever. I have deemed it. Oh my goodness. We drafted Tanner Mangum. That's amazing. He's only what, 30? Tanner Mangum is... There's no way he's only 24. Tanner Mangum is 25 right now. <laughs> so there's no way he could be 24 in 2019. And we're not even in 2019 yet. Ooh, Michael Crabtree down to an 80. How is he still on the team? What is your contract? Also, this is his 11th year in this league right now. Or overall. So he has one year left. He's not even due that much money. We could honestly cut him. And I think it would be for the best of the team. How much would it save us? Uh, like, we could do this very easily. I don't know if I want it. We have Paris Campbell as an 81. Riley Ridley, Chase Claypool. Willie Sneed if we need him, which I, I don't want to need him. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the free agent pool looks like. Miles Jack is here. That would help out significantly. So is Devontae Parker. These are intriguing players available. Also, Artie Burns. I'll pass on that one. Devontae Parker was actually a trade target. Uh, well, not necessarily. I thought he might be traded to the Ravens at the trade deadline. Uh, I know the Ravens went in on receivers, but Devontae Parker was up for trade. I know they had Michael Crabtree. I know they had John Brown. I know Willie Sneed. Young player, thought there was a possibility for, I think it might have been like number five or something. But now that we can bring him in potentially in the 2019 offseason, I would be all for, and we do. Devontae Parker and Miles Jack are now Baltimore Ravens. I think this has changed our team up immensely so far, even with just these small additions. Paris Campbell, Devontae Parker at one and two. Michael Crabtree will not be there. It's going to be Riley Ridley, probably. And then defensively, Miles Jack and CJ Mosley has got to be the best linebacker combo in the entire NFL. Let me know if you have a better one. Let me think on it for a second. This would be the best one. I mean, the only one that you could really say, based on the like 94, 89, you could say like formerly maybe Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley or KJ Wright and Bobby Wagner. Uh, but right now, I mean, it would have to be 94 Miles Jack and 89 CJ Mosley. Obviously, Miles Jack couldn't be paired with Telvin Smith. And then, like, I like Quan Alexander and Levante Davis, something like that. But I think this would be the best. What do we want here? What are we looking for? Jerry Judy would have been a really cool player to target, but 
We don't need receivers. I think that's pretty obvious. NFL draft time. We pick at number 20. I don't even know what we want to target position-wise. I'm looking at maybe defensive end. It's Christian Cockrell, 82 overall, really. It's pretty high overall. There's so many good receivers. Yet, yeah, I think that's the one position I don't want to draft. I'm going to go Corey Weiss out of Wisconsin. Play him at outside linebacker. I think he'll fit in really nicely. 78 overall superstar development. I'll actually take that. That's not too bad. 80 speed, 86 tackle, 83 block shed. Uh, 89 pursuit, 87 acceleration, good zone coverage, great strength. Yes, I'm in. We have another first. That's right. I have forgotten about this. And this class looks like stacked with overalls. Or high overalls. Kyrie Holloman out of Oregon is slow. But what else do we have there, though? 10 active corners is a lot. We need a defensive end. Bradley Draper out of Florida. Welcome to the team. 81 overall, really? Quick development. 80 power move, 80 speed. 88 block shed. Yeah, not bad. Is this class just juiced? I have already noticed a lot of these players aren't real. Like, I've watched a lot of Florida this year. I have not seen... What was his name? Bradley Draper? Hold up. Yeah, I'm not seeing a Bradley Draper anywhere on here. If you are real, apologies. I've never heard of you, and I can't find you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just trade down. For, I guess, picks next year. Alright, we'll try to take a center here. Chance Lehman out of Rutgers. 75 overall. Immediately, our new starting center. That'll do. I wish we could just take a guard here. It might have to be take a center and play him a guard. Warren Pyle, you're on the team now. And I don't think you're going to be on the team very long. I've had about enough of this draft. Is that super lazy? I know nothing about the players. It's a shot in the dark. There's no point. We have no left guard. So you know what? Warren Pyle? I don't know how either. But you're going to start at left guard for right now. I feel like that's not the best. We did all right in the draft, though. We have 78 overall, 81 overall, 75, 73, 72. We can draft those guys, but they're not going to play. Corey Weiss will start at right outside linebacker, I believe. And then Bradley Draper will come in immediately and start at right end. So we got, what, three new starters? That is pretty good. Oh, we re-signed Willie Henry. That's right. Okay, how do we want to work this? Bradley Draper is going to move back to right outside linebacker. That's who plays the position now. It feels like he should probably play left end, and I'm sure he's going to play left end for us next year. We're in a 3-4, which I forgot about. I'm not going to lie to you. He's only 75 overall at right outside linebacker. Uh, shoot. Now, Corey Weiss has to play. Not a great pass rusher. How would we orchestrate a move? You know what? No, we're going to stick in the 3-4. Corey Weiss is going to play right outside linebacker. I'm sure his overall will jump up. Maybe into the 80s. I would say probably into the 80s. 80, 81. And then um, we're going to move Draper to left end to be the eventual replacement for uh, Brandon Williams. 82. Not bad. Is it time to let go of Brandon Williams, man? Not let go of, per se. Not let go of. But move him to defensive tackle. So we can play Draper at left end. I think it is. This gives us more depth. And uh, it gets the players that need to play on the field. So I think that's probably probably better. Brandon Williams, 85 overall defensive tackle. There we go. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go. This is a pretty good team, actually. Might want to sign a backup running back. And maybe change the system to something that fits Lamar Jackson better. But right now, I think a power run scheme where we're handing the ball to Le'Veon Bell as the bulk of our offense, I think that's probably the best. And you know what? Giovanni Bernard is here. We can pay him $4 million for one year to be a backup running back. That's all we need him to be. That's a great partnership right there. This is the squad 
I'm moving Michael Crichton. He's a 79 overall. What does he, what does he bring to the table? Honestly, he doesn't bring anything. That's the offense. Here's the defense. It actually looks pretty good. Deshaun Elliott is starting at free safety still. And I don't even have a problem with it. Do we look at the numbers for this past season? Well, they're gone now. See you at the midseason mark. 5-2 and two at the midseason mark. Currently atop the division in the AFC North. The Browns are 3-4. and four. They've fallen heavily. Steelers without Le'Veon Bell. Not great. Bengals are 5-2, and two, though. They're going to be a problem, maybe. But we have Marlon Humphrey to resign. We got some skill points. I'm going to use some of those. Get the team better. And then I will see you guys for the playoffs. But not, not yet. All right. So... I forgot Tim Williams was even on this team. He was pretty good at Bama. Um, I don't. What do we want to do here? Tyus Bowser, I could get rid of honestly. I think I want to resign him though. Crabtree's done. Sam Cook got to bring back. Tony Jefferson got to bring back. Marlon Humphrey obviously got to bring back. All right. I did I even show that I resigned some players? I don't think I did. But everyone who I said I wanted to get, we resigned. Playoff time. Did we make it? Yes, first round bye as well. 11 and 5. Okay, and now my cat wants something to say. Alright, you want to say hello to the camera? Fine. Say hello. We got nothing to say now? Now you got the mic and you're going to be all quiet? Is that how this is going to work? Say something. This is a protest, I guess. She's going to be there for a minute. We'll see. All right, so. As far as the stats go, Lamar Jackson wasn't amazing or anything. He was decent enough. 3,700 yards, 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. That's not bad. Le'Veon Bell carried the team, though, on the back, though. 1,700 yards, 17 touchdowns. Lamar Jackson scrambled three times for seven yards. Interesting. Paris Campbell, 890 yards. Devontae Parker, about the same. Both had eight touchdowns. Both similar receptions. However, Paris Campbell's reception number was a little bit nicer than Devontae Parker's. Mark Andrews had a good season. Uh, and then Riley Ridley from the slot did some work. Le'Veon Bell out of the backfield did some work. Hayden Hurst got a lot of targets. Offensive line held together really well. Miles Jack had a fantastic season. 135 tackles. Eight tackles for loss. But Corey Weiss led the team with 15 and also three sacks. However, Matthew Judon led with seven and a half. And then interceptions didn't have a whole ton, but four players had two. Deshaun Elliott had one. All right. All right, Deshaun. I see you with that one interception. He was a ball hawk for the Longhorns. Miles Jack, three force fumbles, two recoveries. I'm sure that led the team. And then defensive touchdowns, zero. Although, show me a Le'Veon Bell MVP. Phillip Rivers got it. Le'Veon Bell number two. No. No other Rams. AFC Office Player of the Year is Le'Veon Bell. Uh, I said Ram. I meant Ravens. Lamar Jackson, number 10 for the Ravens. Defense Player of the Year goes to Miles Jack. All right. We're winning everything out here. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Tua Tagovailoa for the Denver Broncos. They take another lefty in the first round. It's Tebow time. It's Tua time now. And then Prince Gildon. Fourth for Defensive Rookie of the Year over Corey Weiss. Explain that one to me. I don't I don't really get it. The Bills made it to the playoffs. What is going on with the records? <laughs> Some of these rebuildos. The cat is back. Oh, she's she's loud now. Don't touch this. She just said that basically right into the mic. What is wrong with you? Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade the team. Deshaun Elliott is gonna be up to a 73, at least. Maybe even more. Oh, there are 73 already. What a beast. He's up to a 74 overall. That's killer. How is the team doing? Everyone's been upgraded. How are we looking? Are we good? You know what? 87 offense, 89 defense. That's not bad. Corey Wise is up to an 89 overall. Draper, 83. He didn't really develop that fast. That's all right. Team's looking pretty good at moments time against the buffalo bills we are an 85 to their 82 tell me the bills can't keep up with us please tell me haven't had to take over just yet 
We are up 14. The Bills are driving, though. They capitalize with a field goal. Third down. Let's take over. Let's play with Lamar Jackson. All right, Lammer. What do you got for me? That's open. Mark Andrews holds on. First down inside the 20. I want to do a little scrambled eggs action with Lamar Jackson. I know we have open receivers, but screw that. All right. It's Lammer. I wish I would have stayed in bounds. Lamar. I'm going to throw that on the run. And it's a diving catch from Devontae Parker. There we go. I can't believe that worked as well as it did. I think maybe we should give, uh, give Le'Veon Bell a few touches. It is third and eight, though. Maybe we shouldn't have. But he's still a beast. First down, Le'Veon. Yeah, how about Paris Campbell? Maybe we give him a slot target. Oh, he actually... Oh, I want to throw that. I also would rather run with Lamar Jackson just to see what he can do. <laughs> so many like those throws were just too dicey. I didn't wasn't feeling it. Third and four. Is streaking Paris Campbell not a good move here? I think with a slant coming across, it'll work out pretty well. More scrambling with Lammer. End zone. Devontae Parker doesn't drag the feet. I know we had the flat wide open. I wanted the touchdown, and I'm shocked we didn't get it. We're going for it. Same play, basically. Rolling out. We have that wide open. Might as well. Might as well take it. Mark Andrews, first down. We're going to move into the hurry up. Score a touchdown and then end the game. Lamar Jackson, easy rushing touchdown. I think that's the ball game. Bills got absolutely smashed. 38-3 to is your final. We held down M&T Bank Stadium. And I'm sure we'll have another matchup in the AFC Championship. Well, actually, well, I'm sure we will have a matchup. I don't know if it'll be a home game or not. Because this, I remember, is a first-round bye because we went 11-5. I don't know if we will play at home. 11 wins is pretty good. Might not be the best in the AFC, though, of the available teams. Conference championship time. The Titans went 12-3-1. So uh, they, of course, will be at home. Play at, what, Nissan Stadium? Unless they change the name of it again. Oh, Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. I swear to God, it had a previous name. Yeah, it was LP Field, Louisiana Pacific. And then uh, it rebranded to Nissan Stadium in 2015 and has a 20 year contract oh boy damn tennessee up seven nothing we have a third down though tennessee in some really nice uniforms let's actually choose our own play like people always complain about how terrible i am it's like one you're not wrong i just don't care but also i don't know any of these playbooks i don't know what plays work i think they're blitzing off that uh that left edge might have an easy slant. Uh, we had R1. We're going to run with Lamar Jackson, though. We had so many options. Just running with Lamar is so fun. We would have had a touchdown, 100%. It's not even... Well, as long as Lamar threw it, I am very confident. We got it this time. Paris Campbell touchdown. We threw it. It was open. Why not? We're going to tie things up here in Nashville. First and goal from the eight. Why don't we utilize our highly paid running back here and just give the ball to Le'Veon Bell? Third and goal. Oh my goodness. What a throw from Lamar Jackson. The touch goes to Chambers. And we got a touchdown. We're taking the lead 14-7. And Tennessee has no answer before the half. We're back in the red zone. Let's do what we did earlier. I feel like this... Uh drag verticals play is pretty good we might be a little bit close to do it but we could always go mark andrews that slant Devonte parker and look to the inside nah it didn't it didn't work third and five. Oh shit what a kick from justin tucker hook em horns we're gonna go up 17 7 can't convert with a touchdown there but we get points at least Ooh, Tennessee scored it. And we gave over the we gave up the ball very easily, I guess. I don't like that. I do love a good user pick to end the game though. That's my favorite. What are you doing? Tavon Young? Uh what what was that? He just got torched. 
Now we got to do a two-minute drill with Lammer. All right, Lamar Jackson. Show me what you got. That needs to be a good throw from Lamar. It's not exactly where I needed it to be. Paris Campbell can't haul it in. I'm just trying to take a deep shot. I really like this drag verticals play I just found. Because I've called it twice and Paris Campbell has cut... Well, three times, but... Paris Campbell has been open, and they usually always press out of it. And Devontae Parker's open, and Lamar Jackson doesn't really deliver it well. There it is. There it is. Paris Campbell! Oh, diving catch! Nearly intercepted. I expected a Dory Jackson to play that very differently. And he fooled me. I'm very lucky that was not a lot worse. I think the Devontae Parker throw was just a little bit too risky there. I'd rather go inside to Paris Campbell, keep her hopes alive, rather than uh, screw myself with a jump ball that gets picked. Look at Joe Flacco on the sideline for moral support. That's a face mask too, which means we got a fresh set of downs. First and goal from the four. Also, only 46 seconds to play. We really need to get in the end zone. How do we do it? Chase Claypool, maybe? It's got to be Le'Veon Bell. What am I talking about? We have Le'Veon Bell. Give Le'Veon Bell the ball. Touchdown. All right, time to make the big stop. 42 seconds, three timeouts for Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. We've seen Ravens Titans before. Pretty good game as well. Keep Deion Lewis in bounds. No. The Ravens and the Titans played. You guys remember this divisional matchup? This was 09. I guess the 09 season. It was 13 10. Boring. But uh, the Ravens scored in the fourth quarter to go up and win. That's a user pick. That's a ridiculously high jump. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. That's a GG. A little unrealistic, but for my realistic rebuild. That's tough. You win some, you lose some, I guess. We're going to the Super Bowl. Who's a player that's played for both the Titans and the Ravens? Derek Mason. Derek Mason's one. Who else? Steve McNair, obviously. I don't know. I forgot about that one. Anybody else? Who else is there? Am I missing anybody? No, I don't know. I thought for a minute that Eddie George may have uh, finished his career in Baltimore, but he did not. Simulating through the Pro Bowl here, we face the Rams in the Super Bowl at Raymond James in Tampa Bay. Everything on the line. Can the Ravens win another Super Bowl? We have a uh, overall deficit to overcome. This would be the third Super Bowl in Baltimore Ravens history. They beat the Giants, unfortunately, in 2000. And the 49ers in 2012. And this is now, what, 2020, 2021 this would be played in? Technically, the game took place in 2013 uh, for the, for the uh, Ravens Niners. And was it, would it have been 2001 for Ravens Giants? Yep, date January 28th, 2001. Of course, the 2000 season. Here we go. Beat LA. All right, third down alert. We're down by three. It is third and inches. I mean, it's going to Le'Veon Bell. Let's toss him the ball. Let's toss the salad here. Aaron Donald out there playing right end. Ooh, they're bringing up safety into the box. Can we check out of this and get him out? Skull power. Oh my goodness. We should have kept the pitch. Go big or go home. Le'Veon Bell! Power! He's through! First down! That could have been so much more. Turbo really wasn't getting going for me. That's got to be a touchdown. Riley Ridley dropped the ball? Oh, come on. Third and seven. We need to stop. Don't throw at me. What are you, what are you doing? Should have been a user pick. I don't know what happened. It's a sack. Miles Jack sack. He's back. It's not whack. It's a fact. Oh, no. That's a touchdown. Robert Woods. That was not my zone, right? That was the deep middle. I don't think I was responsible for that. We're down 10-0, though. This is not an insurmountable lead. 
Drag Vert is the wave. Oh my goodness. Lamar airs it out for Paris Campbell. Catches it in stride. That's the play right there. That's the play of dreams. Probably should have bullet passed that one. Maybe he had, would have had six. What's up with them sending heat? Let's scramble. Go, Lamar. Give me a block. That is not a block. Who's 85? Is it? Who's 85 on this team? I actually don't know. He needs to block there. It's not. I'm going to go Le'Veon Bell. Touchdown! He dropped it. Aw. That's a high point, and it's just... It, it, does he not have the ability to throw high point passes? We're going to take the field goal. I'm not really great at kicking these, but we got Justin Tucker. Impossible to miss. Right down the middle. Seven point ball game. That's fine. We're going to try that one. Mark Andrews, open, touchdown. Tie ball game. Third and six. That's going to be a user pick. Easy reads. Hop on, pop. How's this, Miles Jack? What is Jared Goff going to catch up to you? Is this a joke? Go, Miles! Touchdown! User pick six. And the Gronk spike. 56 yards to the house. Oh, I thought Mark Andrews would beat on the streak. Aaron Donald, what are you doing? Can you relax? Had to throw it away quickly there. Drags open on second and ten. Paris Campbell got a little burst there. Third and four. That's a slant. Open. Devontae Parker touchdown. And I think that's going to extend it to two touchdowns, which will be the lead we need to win the Super Bowl. 24-10. Let that be the final. Ooh, 24-17. I don't like that. They would uh, never suspect the QB draw here. And they didn't. It's going to take us down to the two-minute warning. It's third and four, and they haven't exactly wasted a lot of timeouts here. It's hard to run on this defensive front. They're just very good, but we got it here. Le'Veon Bell. There we go. I was hoping that I'd be timed differently, but I'll take the first down. That could end the football game. Just might. We should have came out in the, uh, the all-black uniforms. But Le'Veon Bell is going to take this one. And give us the Super Bowl victory. The Baltimore Ravens are Super Bowl champions once again. Really? You're gonna not going to... All right. We'll run one more play. Try to get the end zone or something. Imagine fumble. They score a touchdown. Nope. Just going down. That's it. The Baltimore Ravens now are officially Super Bowl champions. The confetti... Once again, rains down on Sean McVay. As I feel like we face the Rams in the Super Bowl every time we've done an AFC team and made the Super Bowl. I think that's true. I really do. Show me the Super Bowl MVP. Is it Lammer? Is it not Lamar Jackson? Is it Le'Veon Bell? Jared Goff crying. It's very sad, Jared. I get you. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me here. Uh, hopefully... These have been enough to hold you over. I don't think I mentioned anything, but I... Probably when you're watching this, I'm recovering from surgery. I had. So, um... Yeah, I tried to record a bunch in advance. That's why there was only one rebuild over, like, this week or two-week period. Or whatever it was. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Can you raise the Lombardi already? No? All right. See you in the next one. Take it easy. Fantastic.